Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back, man. I know it's been a little minute. I've been uh, busy with work. Then when I got back, I had uh, had about a good five days off, man. i just been busy with the kids with that. It's hard to get back into the rhythm of things, especially when working nights and then having kids. It's uh, it's hard to do this. It's hard to find time to actually do this. Daddy duties is more important than any of this YouTube sneaker stuff. But as you can tell by the thumbnail, we got another pack in. I have a bunch of stuff that I have not shown you guys, but I have shown it on D Blake's Live. Mm, I don't know if I'm gonna make bit individual videos. I still need to do a couple on feet for a bunch of people that are asking me in the comment section. I, like I said, I just, it's hard to freaking find time. Nonetheless, this was a highly anticipated shoe for myself, even though I already had the OG. Like I said, as you can tell by the thumbnail, you know what freaking shoe it is. Hold on, let me put my little plastic chain out. Um, you already know what the shoe is. I went ahead and picked up a pair off of StockX. The prices dipped freaking crazy. We were on a live. It was early in the morning. It was like 4, 5.30 in the morning because I had to go to work. And uh, we were on, I believe it was D Blake's live. And everybody started talking about, dang, the prices are like right at retail, right at retail. It was right when they dropped in Europe, right? So everybody went and scooped them. Boom, 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 boom. Our sizes were like next to nothing, you know, over retail. And to be able to get them early, uh, to make sure that we secured the pair, if you don't know, these Miami Night Lows were freaking, are still are freaking grails for people that are, uh, that were around for that LeBron era when he changed to the Miami Heat and things like that. So, and these were rare, super rare, hard to find, and, and prices were crazy, you know, 16, 17, $2,500 if you could get your size DS, super, super hard to find. And it's crazy to think that, that, that Nike is retroing a lot of these LeBron PEs, these uh, certain signature shoes that, I never thought would come back out so I went back and, and grabbed the OGs at a higher price point not anticipating for them to even retro something like that you know what I mean but anyways so glad to have these in hand I doubled up I might go for another pair uh, during release day wouldn't mind having another pair but I think I'm gonna go for my wife's size she actually likes the shoe but let's go ahead and get to it it has the OG 8 low box you see the LeBron with the lion dope dope artwork on this it the box does look like it look it's got an australia two let's see if it focuses 250 price point australia but yeah like i said these are from StockX. got the tag right here bam the miami night lows man these things are freaking fuego i know it's not everybody's cup of tea the lebrons are bulky but look at this this just screams freaking summer and like i said this was a very exclusive shoe it only dropped in miami uh, it was hard as hell to get and then when you did find pairs like back in the day when I would find it like on Kixify or uh, Flight Club because that was the only places that I would really purchase from I wasn't purchasing from eBay at the time um, Prices were like I say astronomical man. They were in the thousands Easy easy in the thousands now. Like I said, I do have the OG pair I did find some differences and I'm not sure if it's just because of oxidation or whatnot and I don't think so I think it's just they didn't do it true to color. Go ahead and check out the OG pair. It's a little bit, now the outsole is obviously going to be changed different. This one's fresh, this one's older. But look at the, the colors. Very similar, but the new pair, a little bit faint. The OG pair, a lot more vibrant on your colors. Still kind of true to form, still a good looking shoe. Nonetheless, man, fire ass shoe that just screams freaking summer. Beautiful, beautiful shoe. That's the only difference I really found as far as the colors being more vibrant. It's got like a, a very soft color when it comes to this flamingo color. Even though with the uh, signature on the back, you can see the differences. This one's a little bit darker. Now it could just be by age. Like I said, I only purchased this one last year. I didn't have it when it was new, but this thing is beautiful. You got your lion, if you can see it, it's faintly behind this like little mesh. You can see your lion with the crown. Oh, man, this is a beautiful shoe. Scream Summer, nice low top shoe. Very, very, very freaking comfortable with that full air unit. Like I said, all these LeBron uh, retros are freaking dropping in price. So if you're interested in this, uh, you don't have to buy it early if you didn't catch the, the initial dip. I'm not sure what they're going for right now, but you might be able to get them for close to retail. LeBron's don't do numbers. Like even the freaking media days where people were going crazy leading up to it, right? Look at what you can get them for now, like 120 bucks. That's freaking nuts, man. But yeah, nonetheless, beautiful shoe. 
feel good to have a, a pair that I can beat in the collection because I want to keep my OGs on ice. Knowing that the colors are super, super vibrant, and there's a big difference in them. I'm going to go ahead and just rock these this summer and uh, keep these on ice, man. Only break these out for like special occasions. These are, these are freaking nice, man. But like I said, not much, much differences. Let me see the lace tips. Lace tips do say LeBron, same thing, same thing. Same, but yeah, you could tell that the that that pink, that flamingo pink is a lot different. It's a lot different. And it does come with the extra pair of laces, but which is trippy, look, check it out. <laughs> White laces, I guess, because they just want you to keep it crispy clean. But nonetheless, dope shoe, beautiful shoe. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys are gonna go after this one, or if you're just gonna be going after the South Beach, South Beach highs, uh, the preheats. Like I said, uh, if I were you, definitely, definitely go after this shoe. It is beautiful. It is truly a piece of art. And it's a piece of history, man. Like I told y'all, um, a lot of these shoes, people don't know the backstory on them. So they kind of just sleep on it and don't really pay it no mind because, you know, it's not, LeBron's still kind of not as trendy with his shoes. But this is the golden era for me, man. This this time frame was when I first started getting into sneakers when I when I got out of the military. So this is a lot of nostalgia for me. And I remember not ever thinking I would be able to touch something of this price point, you know? And to be able to get something for basically retail that you wanted back in the day, it's a good feeling, you know? But yeah, let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. If you uh, like the OG pair better, only difference, like I said, is this uh, pink itself. The teal or aqua, whatever you want to say it is, it's pretty on par. I would say it's on par. It's just this pink color. It's just the pink color. It's a little bit different, a little bit brighter. Um, I actually like the darker OG color. It stands out a lot more. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. Uh, the Miami Night Lows should be a relatively easy cop and I don't see them going crazy in price. But who knows, man? I, I, I'm not a resource, so I can't predict anything. It is what it is, man. It's your boy, Dirty Man. Let me know down in the comment section. You guys all take care. I'm going to try to knock out a bunch of videos right now. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't want to do this crap anymore. I'd rather go live and just show you guys. But, you know, I have a lot of people hit me up for certain things, and I try to give the people what they want, man. You guys all take care. Like I said, let me know down in the comment section what you guys think of this beautiful, beautiful freaking shoe, man. God damn. If you don't know, or if you didn't follow me on IG, I've been wearing the OGs uh, like two or three days in a row over the weekend, man. Super comfortable shoe. Super fucking comfortable shoe. You guys, I'll take care. Peace.